That is good. Thought tonight I'd enjoy a nice pot of hot chocolate while I'm sitting in camp here. I went out and had a late afternoon, early evening hunt. Came across a grouse, took a shot at it, but I missed. So for supper tonight, I'm going to have to rely on my food stash. Probably just going to have some rice and beans, something simple. But tonight what I want to work on is some tool maintenance. I'm going to be working on my bow saw. I have been noticing that it hasn't been cutting quite as efficiently as I would like. And inspecting these teeth, I can definitely tell that they are in need of a sharpening. I've spoken about this before, but that's one of the things I really like about a bow saw versus a folding saw or saws that have a different tooth style. With these bow saw blades, the teeth are large enough that you can actually get at them with a file quite easily. And you can sharpen them and maintain them in the field, which in my books is a huge plus and something that I really appreciate with my gear when I can maintain it pretty easily without any special tools. So tonight I'm going to be walking you through how I sharpen my saw blade. So the first thing you need to figure out is when your saw needs sharpening and typically when you're cutting you'll notice that when you try to begin your cut the teeth will just skate all over the log. common culprit for that is a dulled tip of your tooth. So you can see on this tooth here and this tooth right here, they have those little white dots on top. What that is, is a flat surface at the very tip of the tooth, which is causing those teeth to skate across the wood rather than biting into it to begin the cut. As you get into your cut, you may notice that your saw is producing a really fine sawdust. It's not actually producing wood chips, just a really, really fine saw dust. There might be a slight rattling sound as you're sawing back and forth. And typically, those are all signs that your saw needs to be sharpened. So what we need to do is we actually need to reprofile these teeth and put a new edge on it and get rid of these flat spots at the tip of the teeth. This is just from normal wear and tear as you go through hardwoods, knots, things like that. This is just like any other edge tool. Eventually it's going to need touched up, and in this case we are definitely due for a sharpening. In my pack I always have this little repair kit. Inside is just needles, thread, some patch material, a pencil, a little block of wax, small sharpening stone, and I also keep this little file inside so that I always have something to maintain my saw with. This is a really small file, just a little triangle file, but this is all you need to be able to work on these saw blades and maintain them. So the process is real simple. We're just going to use this file to reestablish the edges on these teeth. So to find the angle at which to file, it helps to look at your tooth from straight on like this, and then set your file on there and just match it the angle of that tooth. This may take a little bit of practice, but once you begin to work with the file and find those angles, it does become pretty easy. I don't push very hard with this file. I just let the file cut, do its job, focus on maintaining my angle. Now you want to make sure that you're sharpening this, not just at the tip, but you want to get the entire edge of this tooth. So I'm working kind of on an upward angle, starting at the base of this tooth, and then pushing my file up to make sure I get the entire bevel. So you can see this left side of the tooth we've refiled. Got a nice clean bevel on it now. And on the right, we still have to touch that side up. Once we do, we're going to end up with a real sharp point and a good clean cutting edge on both sides of this tooth. Now as you do this, you want to make sure as you come up, you're not letting your file slide over the top of that tooth or else you'll round it off. And obviously as you're going, you don't want to be chattering your file over top of other teeth. You want to be in control. That's why I recommend just a nice slight pressure. And just control the file, maintain your angle. Focus on just sharpening the one side of the tooth at a time. So that is our first tooth sharpened. 
can see we got nice even bevels on both sides. The tip is razor sharp. The edges of the tooth are good and sharp as well. So that should cut a heck of a lot better for us. So now the process just goes to work our way down, doing one tooth at a time. Look at that, you can even see the, the burr. You can hear it. Yeah, these teeth are rolled over on top, so that's why they've been cutting so poorly. Now typically, a good woodsman will make sure his tools are always good and sharp before he heads out to the field. You never want to be the person that gets to camp and has to break out files and stones to sharpen your tools before you can get started. And back at home I did notice that this saw was quite dull, but I wanted to include this in the series, so that's why we are taking the time to do this out here. So hopefully you can see the difference here between this tooth that we just sharpened, put a nice new edge on both sides, has a nice sharp tip, versus the old tooth. You can see it's rounded off at the top, the bevels on the side are worn down, they aren't very sharp at all. That's what we're after right there. It's a nice sharp tooth, a nice sharp point, even bevels on both sides. A tooth like that is going to cut really nice for us. Well, a beautiful morning out here today. It got pretty cold last night, heavy frost over everything this morning. I just finished up having my breakfast and some coffee. Sun is out and shining bright, starting to warm things up, feels good. Finished up the saw blade last night. Got each tooth sharpened, a new edge put on each one. They're nice and pointy. So I thought I would wait until morning to do the first test cut with it and see how much of an improvement sharpening this blade made. So those teeth bite in really really nice they're not skating across the surface anymore you can really tell they want to bite into that wood so those teeth are good and sharp big difference in the cut there's no rattling or vibration sound the saw is cutting cleanly through the wood. I don't have to push super hard to force the blade through. It's cutting through very nicely. And the sawdust is no longer a really fine dust. We're actually getting some bigger wood chips out. So that is exactly what you want from your saw. So there we have it. A really simple way to sharpen your saw using just a file. You don't have to carry any expensive or elaborate tools, just one little file and you can touch up these teeth and make a big difference in how it cuts. So now I can stay busy bucking up wood for my little stove, make sure I'm staying warm at night. Really appreciate you watching, and I'll see you in the next one.